All right, now we're going to go through a insertion sort in Java. Now the insertion sort is a little different than the bubble sort or the selection sort. Uh, it can actually run a little bit quicker if your data is already uh, somewhat ordered. Uh, otherwise, it takes about the same length if it's totally random. But the insertion sort works by uh, finding, kind of like the selection sort, finding the lowest value and stepping through the array, moving the lowest values to their appropriate position. But instead of iterating through the entire rest of the array each time to find the next lowest value, it swaps and moves the rest of the array down to make room for that lowest value. So to do this, uh, again, like the other sorts, we're going to start out with a for loop. That's going to iterate over the entire array. Uh, actually, we're going to start at the second element, and I'll explain why in a second. And we're going to go to array.length. So here's our main for loop that's going to go through place by place, starting with the second one. Uh, trying to find the lowest value to uh, put into the right spot. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to assume that where we're at is the current lowest value, and we're going to store that. So and we're just going to call it element array at i. And then we're going to also store where we're at. So we're going to store a, a, a place, and we're going to start one back from where we currently are with our element, so i minus 1. And that's why we want to start at 1 and not 0 on the main outer for loop. Now what we're going to do is iterate through the first half of the array up to this point. Uh, making sure everything's in the right order. If something's not in the right order, uh, we know we're at a point where we need to swap something. So we can do this with a while loop, and this is where the insertion sort best case can run pretty quick if it's already ordered. So we first want to check to make sure we're not at the end of the array. We've gone all the way to zero. So if if our current place, so is uh, zero. Uh, so we want to repeat this while loop as long as we don't go below zero. But we're also wanting to end that to check to see if we're in the right spot for this uh, element that we're dealing with. So we're going to check to see if the array place is greater than the element. So while we're not at the end of the array and the value that we're looking at at place is greater than element, what we want to do is move the or shift the array, all the elements in the array down. So we do this with array place plus one. So that next element we're going to set to current place, and then we're going to decrement place by one. That shifts, that moves us down the array. So when this while loop is done, we're going to end up with a place being where this element, this particular array of i that we've had in the original array, where it needs to go. So let's just put it there. And that's why we saved it off. So just array place plus one because we found it, but then our while logic here decremented one. So let's just go back up one so it's in the right place. We're going to set that to the element. And that is the insertion sort. So uh, this will iterate. 
down through the array each time, then backtracking through what was previously sorted, uh, placing things in the right location. So let's do a print array. So you can see that. All right, so there's the output. It's ordered. The original array going in was unordered. So if you want to see each step, let's, after we've made that swap inside of our uh, main for loop, let's just print that array again. So you can kind of see how it progresses through. All right, so scrolling up just a little bit here, I can show more of this. So first pass through, we look at the original array. Uh, right here. So first pass through uh, started with 42 or 412. Um, and compared with what was below it, uh, they were in the right order. So it didn't make any changes. Second pass through, it compared 562 with 412. And that was in the right order, so it didn't make any changes. Third time through, however, uh, the 74 was compared to 562, and it was not greater than, so it decremented place once. It shifted 562 and seven, uh, just moved 562 over one, decremented place, checked again, and 74 was compared to 412. Same thing. Uh, 74 was not greater than, so 412 was moved over one. And then 5 was compared to 74. That was in the right order. So then 74 was left in that second position. So third pass through. Um, well, that was the third pass through. Fourth pass through, uh, you can see that the three was found and moved all the way up to the beginning and so on. And as, as you look down through this, you can see how slowly from the beginning, uh, progressing through the array, the lowest values all make their way out to the, the top of the array.